Introducing the 11 time light heavyweight world champion, Mike Bell. I'm Mike Bell. I'm from Orlando, Florida. By been in 17, 18 different countries fighting and doing what I do. I'm a boxer, kickboxer, and a Muay Thai karate fighter. I teach boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, and Jiu Jitsu. And uh, I teach private classes to doing, showing people how to defend themselves. I have a couple of clients that come in here to do bodyguard work. I first started off in boxing. My brother and all of them was boxers. Uh, my, one of my oldest brothers was a boxer, named Charles Bell. He was number, I think, 12 or 13 in the world. And I started boxing with him. I started boxing in the neighborhood, and then doing it, and everybody kept me how great I was, so I tried to take it to another level. So I had my first fight with the age of four. How could I get the name Lil' Giant? One of my little partners named Alan Watson. He was number one um, welterweight in the world at that time, you know. And all these big known peoples that I, that I was fighting, in the, and they had never heard of me because I'm from the South, you know, and they figured everybody, if, uh, can't nobody from the South fight that good. So one of the promoters said, What's your nickname? Alan Hollis, uh, Alan Emery, and said, Hey, he the little giant. We beat all these big giant names, you know, so the name just stuck with me at that point. I was in uh, Japan. I was 10 to 1 favorite to lose because I was from America. And um, I fought uh, Naga, good friend. But I fought him, and uh, I was 10 to 1 favorite to lose because he had never lost to America. My favorite fight was um, with Paul Vizio and when I, fought, I won the world title. When I fought Paul Vizio, I fought three fights before I fought him. Back to back, you know, and I was tired. I fought in Cocoa Beach, I fought in uh, Miami, and then I fought down in um, in Jacksonville, and then I fought Paul Vizio. So I'm thinking I'm Superman or someone. I figured my body couldn't get tired, so I went and then fought Paul Vizio, and I was tired. Don't take nothing from Paul Vizio. Paul Vizio is a great fighter, but I'm greater. Yeah. From 19. Um, 80 to uh, 91, then I, uh, I, I retired tighter then. Then I came back home and I fought two or three more times and I retired again. My goal is to be able to keep teaching and to be able to uh, turn a, a whole bunch of winners and champions out. So this is what the championship is. Gotta be a champion side before you be a champion anywhere else. All my life, I wanted to turn out one as a champion. My my godfather was was a champion. He fought Joe Lewis. So when that, after that happened, it shows me it showed me this that it's not only that where he come from, it's who he is. Who he is could be a champion. You find a lot of time people come to him, you don't know anything. If he got the right attitude, he already don't want a championship. But he come in with it with it uh, and he got his wrong attitude, he already going to tell you about what he know what he don't know. And it's the whole key is in here to be able to train is to find out what you know. That's the key.